Hey, it's Mike from the Logan and the Hobo RV Adventure channel. Welcome back to the channel. Another YouTube channel that I watched put out a challenge for any other YouTube channel, and I accept. Logan and the Hobo. Best friends forever. All right, so the challenge is pretty straightforward. It's three things that you like about your RV and three things that you don't like about your RV. Uh, I thought this was really interesting to hear what they had to say. Uh, the channel that put out this challenge to me was uh, Live and Light RV. A great channel i like watching their stuff so here we go so we'll start with the things that i don't like about my rv so we can end on a positive note and talk about the things i do like on my rv the first thing i don't like is well i got uh, four kids so there's six of us me and amber and the four kids in the trailer usually when we're camping and it's a travel trailer and even when the stabilizer jacks down with the kids in the bunk and one kid's in the dinette anytime anybody rolls or moves or anything like that when it's bedtime in bed uh, it shakes the whole RV and it just makes it a little bit difficult for everybody to get to sleep. So that's probably one of my biggest complaints. I know it sounds like kind of a, you know, a silly thing, but, but I wish there was a way to make the RV not shake as much. So the second thing I dislike about the trailer, about the RV, uh, is the storage capacity. And it's probably not exactly what you're thinking when you hear storage capacity. The inside storage is fine. We have plenty of storage capacity inside. We don't live in it full time. We just take it out on our uh, weekend or week long camping trips. So there's actually a decent amount of storage space inside, uh, especially if the kids keep their stuff put away, which doesn't happen very often. But if they did, it would be better. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Um, what I'm talking about is outdoor storage and I'm not talking about the pass through or anything like that, the storage compartments, that's all okay. I'm talking about the space for batteries. So we have uh, two flooded uh, wet cell batteries six volt batteries and they live on the tongue of the trailer and i'm incredibly happy with it the two six volt batteries provide uh, plenty of power we camp off grid pretty often and i'm happy with it but if i ever did want to upgrade to more batteries there's no space for it i can't put anything else on the tongue of the trailer and then to relocate the battery bank to the inside of the trailer especially if it's the uh, flooded cell lead acid batteries that need to be vented it's kind of a big ordeal to make that happen and so uh, that's one thing I dislike about having a trailer is limited space on the tongue for batteries. And the third thing I don't like about the trailer is the water pump switch. Now, we have one water pump switch and it works great. It's in the main control center, which is by the entry door to the trailer, which is fine. And most of the time it works great. However, I like to keep uh, the water turned off when we're not there so I don't keep the water pump on. And if we're hooked up to city water, I don't keep the city water turned on. That's so if something breaks, like a pipe breaks or something like that, or if we haven't leaked the whole trailer's not going to get flooded while we're not there. What makes it inconvenient is say I forget that all the water is turned off and I go or somebody uses the bathroom and they don't turn the water pump on before they go in there and then to flush the toilet you got to come all the way back out to where the front door is turn the water pump on and then you can go back and you can flush the toilet. I wish that there was a water pump switch in the bathroom that would make it a lot more convenient. Here's the good stuff here's the stuff that I like. The first thing I like about the trailer is that it's a trailer it's a towable RV and so what that means is is I have my truck uh, to use when we're camped. We can leave the trailer at our campsite and have the truck available to go drive around, do sightseeing, do exploring, run errands, whatever it is we need to do. And then I also like having the truck um, as my daily driver and also for doing stuff around the house, it's nice having the truck to, you know, whenever we need to haul stuff or anything like that. So the first thing I love about the RV is actually that it's a towable RV, that it's a trailer. And the second thing I love about the trailer is the fact that we can sleep all the, the whole family uh, me and Amber and the six kids, we all fit in the trailer fine. There's plenty of sleeping room for everybody. And it's a little tight if we're all trying to hang out in there and like watch TV or something like that. And so that doesn't happen that often. Usually we're in a kind of a camping type situation and we spend most of our time hanging out outside. And so the trailer is mostly for sleeping and using the bathroom and uh, cooking and eating and that kind of thing. And it works out great for that. It's kind of like a really uh, high level tent experience. And then of course the big plus side with that is that it's a relatively small trailer it's a 25 foot box and so we can get into a lot of state parks and national parks and tight spots like that uh, that some of the bigger ricks can't get into and we can still sleep our uh, pretty large family of six people and what's really fantastic about the trailer about the rv experience in general is that we go camping as a family all the time and before we got the trailer and we've had it for about four years now before we got the trailer we hardly ever went camping we went camping maybe once every five years or something crazy like that. And so it's really nice since we've had the trailer, we go camping uh, pretty close to once a month, probably um, 
eight to 10 trips a year. And it's at least for two nights. And sometimes like we just got done with kind of a marathon trip, which was about a week and a half. And so getting to spend all that time in nature, getting to spend all that time outdoors, and of course, getting to spend all the time together as a family, uh, building memories, memories for the kids and uh, all that stuff has been fantastic. Just before I wrap this video up, I'm gonna leave you with some camping footage and a little bit of music, and I hope you enjoy. forgot to extend the challenge out to another YouTube channel. Uh, this channel has been supportive of my work for a long time and does a lot to foster a sense of community in the uh, RV YouTube community, which I really appreciate. And he makes great videos himself. And so the channel's name is Camper Life. So Camper Life, I'm calling you out. Uh, tell us about the three things you love about your RV and the three things you don't like. Please. I forgot to say please. So that wraps it up for this video. I wanna give my thanks, uh, my sincere thanks to Living Light RV for putting out the challenge to any YouTube channel that wanted to take up the challenge and talk about the three things they liked and the three things they disliked about their RV. Uh, it was a fantastic subject. I enjoyed doing it. And so thank you again to Living Light RV. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. If you like the content, please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.